Okay, hello everyone, can you guys hear me? Okay. So since we are a bit of short on time, I'll head straight into my presentation, which is how to use any web API from a smart contract. So as we all know, uh, APIs are the foundation of Web2 infrastructure. They help us build complex applications. Uh, blockchains would like to utilize these APIs in themselves, but unfortunately that's not really possible since natively black blockchains don't support APIs. So we need an oracle that helps facilitate bringing off-chain data on-chain, and that's where our protocol AirNode comes in. So AirNode and the Oracle integration specification are tools we've designed to help bring off-chain data on-chain. AirNodes are a first-party Oracle solution designed to work with the Oracle integration specification. I think all of us are familiar with the open API specification. We believe there is a need for a standardized way for APIs to integrate with blockchain, and that's what uh, OIS hopes to accomplish. The OIS describes how APIs interface with AirNode. In a nutshell, smart, smart contracts query AirNode requesting specific data. The AirNode in turn queries the API based on the OIS and returns the result. Of course, there are more nuances to this uh, of how AirNode works on the back end, but uh, you can read more about that in our docs. So uh, the basis or the backbone of uh, AirNode is the request response protocol. The request response protocol is basically how air nodes communicate with on-chain smart contracts. You can think of the uh, air node RRP contract as the central hub where all smart contracts request, request their data. And then the air nodes check the RRP contract for any pending request and then fulfills the data for those smart contracts. So how are requests defined on, uh, defined on chain using air node? Well, each air node has its own on-chain identity in the form of an Ethereum address. And each air node serves a single API. So you can think of api.example.com as a, a single API. And within the API, you have different endpoints. So like slash latest price, slash latest uh, historical price, et cetera. So each endpoint gets its own ID that uh, we refer to it as the endpoint ID. and uh, the query parameters, uh, you can also define them while querying within your smart contract. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that each sm smart contract needs a sponsor. The sponsor is used to derive the sponsor wallet, which is the wallet the air node uses to make the fulfillment transaction. Since this is a request response protocol, you will be making the request, but the response has to be fulfilled, and the air node won't do it for free. You will also have to pay for the response transaction. So for today's workshop, we'll be querying the coin gecko air node. The specific endpoint we'll be querying is the slash coins endpoint. Uh, so the complete URL is api.coingecko.com slash API v3 coins, and we'll be querying the price of Ethereum. So uh, I'll just, no, I'll just complete this. So. Let's, if you want, you can follow along. The contract isn't that huge. Uh, we'll be writing our own requester contract. Uh, what we'll start off with is by defining the RRP requester.sol. Any uh, contract that wishes to communicate with air nodes needs to import RRP requester.sol. Once you do that, you need to inherit it. After you have inherited it, you just need to define uh, an incoming fulfillment uh, mapping. This basically says that the request has been fulfilled or not fulfilled. And in this case, we, the data we want is the price of Ethereum. So we'll just define a variable to store it in. Uh, after that, we'll define a constructor and call the parent constructor of RRP requester. Uh, as the address, we'll be specifying the air node RRP contract. Once that's done, we just need to define two more functions. The first function is the make request function. This is the function that actually makes the API request. Uh, we define the air node address, which is the unique address of the CoinGecko air node. We define the endpoint ID, which is the slash coins endpoint. We define the sponsor, which is our own MetaMask wallet. We'll be sponsoring this request. And the sponsor wallet, which is derived from our MetaMask wallet. 
This is the wallet that the AIR node will use to fulfill this request. Uh, the parameter is Ethereum in bytes 32, so we'll convert uh, the word Ethereum into bytes 32. Once that's done, we just make the request uh, by calling the uh, AIR node RRP address, and that will make the request. Then we'll have a fulfill function where the request will be fulfilled. So once you make the request, AIR node will try to fulfill it, and it will fulfill, fulfill it within the fulfill function. So all we are doing here is decoding the result and then assigning it to the price of ETH. It's not really that complicated. So why don't we try doing this in real time? Uh, I have Remix opened up here. Uh, inside Remix, you can see that I have a requester and RRP requester set. And I'll attempt to fulfill, uh, I'll attempt to make a request. To do that, first I'll have to uh, deploy this contract. So I will pass in the address of Node RRP to this contract. So basically, we are deploying this requester right now. And once it's been deployed, we can make the request. And you can do this for any uh, API. It's not necessary that we, you have to use CoinGecko. I deployed the CoinGecko AIR node prior to this talk. But you can go ahead and deploy any API. Uh, deploying an AIR node is very simple. All you need is an AWS account. A free, a free tier works. So. Uh, yeah, you can have an, uh, a node running in a matter of minutes, and you can query any API in a matter of minutes. OK, so our requester has been deployed. Uh, now we just need to copy the requester address, head over to node RRP, and sponsor it. So we will be sponsoring it with our MetaMask, the address of our MetaMask. So we'll just paste in the address of our requester. Uh, set the sponsorship status to true, and confirm the transaction. So now we have sponsored this requester contract. Uh, just to make sure the price of ETH is zero right now. So as soon as we make the request, the price of ETH will, be, uh, will get updated according to the CoinGecko API. Uh, okay, so we have successfully sponsored our requester, and now all we need to do is make the request. So, what we need to do first, what we'll do is we'll put in the address of our AIR node. So, this is the AIR node that uh, is running the CoinGecko API. Uh, I have deployed this prior to this talk, but you guys can deploy your own AIR node anytime you want. And then I specify the endpoint ID. This is the slash coins endpoint. So this is the endpoint ID. And the sponsor, the sponsor is us. So we can just put in our MetaMask address. Uh, the sponsor wallet is the address derived from the sponsor address. Um, I have derived it prior to this talk, but it's just a one line script to derive the sponsor wallet. Uh, you also need to fund the sponsor wallet, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, and finally, we specify the parameters. So the parameters is nothing but the word Ethereum converted into bytes32, and that's it. And I paste that in, I do a transaction. And now we have made an API request to, the, to an air node to update the price of Ethereum within our smart contract. This might take a while, two or three minutes. So if anyone has any questions before that, free, go ahead. Yeah. 
uh, how would you go about automating like API calls like regularly? What do you mean? Like make calls every five minutes or one hour? Um, like do you want to get the price every five minutes? Something yeah, that, like that? Okay, so that's, uh, we have a product called Beacons, which does exactly that, uh, where it updates and fetches the price every five minutes, and you can read from the beacon uh, whenever you want. Right. So, yeah, uh, one thing to note is we are launching our first data feeds, which are called Beacons, and Beacons are uh, f data feeds that get updated every minute, and uh, yeah, we've launched them on this testnet, on testnets for eat Denver. Anyway, I think the price should have been updated by now, but I'll just check. Yeah, so as you can see, the price of Ethereum right now is 2,779. Uh, the last I checked, it was 3,000, so not a good day, but yeah. That's it for my workshop. Uh, if you guys want to learn more, you can head over to our docs. All of the steps I've documented in my uh, uh, repo that I've done right now. But we also have bounties running uh, for API 3, where uh, you can build on top of beacons, and uh, uh, the products that you build, we can, we'll pay out bounties for it. Um, thank you. Do we have any questions from the audience? All right, if not, another warm round of applause for Ashar, please. <laughs>